play. A fumble. Oh, get the ball. These schools seem pretty action-packed, even by grown-up standards. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 fictional schools in TV. For this list, we're taking a look at those memorable television schools that were full of drama, had wacky teachers, or that we just wish we could have attended. Because when it comes down to it, you never grow out of the school spectacle, you just grow older. Next question is a 25 point toss up. First one to answer it. Okay. Who were the stars of the musical movie Footlight Parade? Oh! 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 oh, oh me! Oh, please, me! Oh! Number 10, James Buchanan High. Welcome back, Cotter. <laughs> Mr. Cotter, if Vinny did not do his homework, then the chances is very great that I didn't do my homework. There's always a group of ne'er-do-wells at any given school that needs some extra attention. In this case, the band of delinquents was called the Sweat Hogs because their remedial classes were held in the sweltering top floor of James Buchanan High. I can't take it. I just can't take it. I can't take it. And they happen to be the most compelling and interesting students in the entire Brooklyn-based school at least according to viewers, and they're quick to make a joke teacher. Yes. If we all live forever, you know what that would mean? Yeah, it would mean you guys have spent 200 years in the 11th grade. <laughs> a graduate of the school himself, Mr. Cotter worked hard to keep his students engaged because, like any good sitcom teach, he believed in them. I searched here, and I searched there. I'm searching for my Shanghai Lil. <laughs> He's searching for his Shanghai Lil. <laughs> Number nine, Walkerville Elementary School, the Magic School Bus. Miss Frizzle, are you all right? <laughs> well, as I always say, there's nothing like starting out the day with a bang. Funding for their school district must have been incredible, considering the children here had access to a literal magic school bus that could transport them almost anywhere to teach them science. My class already studied the solar system. I bet you your class didn't learn about the aliens that live on the planets. Their field trips were epic, and we can only hope they retain the information into adulthood, especially the lessons about the digestive system, as they were particularly enlightening. In a moment, we will have live footage. See anything yet? Whoa! With Miss Frizzle as their guide, this class full of ethnically diverse, politically correct children doesn't actually spend much time in school, but they sure learned a lot. As I always say, class, you're out of this world. <laughs> Number eight, Lincoln Junior High, The Wonder Years. As we approached those doors for the first time, we felt we were approaching the portals of manhood. Growing up next to the girl of your dreams can be a source of great joy and great despair, particularly when she moves away and attends a new school. I just think it's wrong, that's all. In this case, this new school is Lincoln Junior High and it's the source of a lot of adolescent strife, especially considering Winnie meets her new boyfriend there. I came looking for you and they told me you were with Eric. And when I found you, you were kissing him. The school represents Kevin and Winnie growing apart, and it's a symbol of them transitioning ungraciously into their teen years. Winnie. I don't want it to end. Number seven, Neptune High, Veronica Mars. Carrie Bishop, <laughs> suck it to me, baby! Yeah. The answer is I'm not pregnant, so you can quit dodging my calls and you can keep your money to take care of it. And while we're at it, you should key back. I don't be needing it anymore. Located in the beautiful coastal town of Neptune, California, this school is pretty active, and not in the bake sale and spirit week sense. Come in. We're talking more in the, hey, did you know that the school principal had a baby with one of the students sense. Do you know when I told Mr. Rooks I was pregnant and he gave me $500 and told me I should go take care of it? And we haven't even mentioned the secret society stuff. Otherwise, it seems like a pretty normal high school for a budding teenage detective to attend, since it's got all sorts of shenanigans and hijinks to keep track of. Well, there you go, kid. There's life lesson number one. What goes around comes around. 
Number six, Degrassi High, the Degrassi franchise. Um, Stephanie, what are you doing? This is grade eight, right? We're supposed to be more mature. So I'm gonna start dressing more mature. This school is teeming with drama, especially for a Canadian high school. From multiple teen pregnancies, to school shootings, to STDs, to bullying. If there's an issue involving teens grades 9 through 12, it's probably made an appearance within this school's halls. To top it off, it seems like the adults who attended the school just never want to leave. Except for wheelchair Jimmy. He seems to have made it out just fine. I love your wealth of knowledge and I, I love you. Okay. I'm glad you think this is funny. Number 5. West Beverly Hills High School? Beverly Hills 90210. Mom, let's go shopping today and I'll go to school tomorrow. First impressions are incredibly important. Honey, you can make a wonderful first impression. Aside from having teenagers that looked like they should be teaching instead of attending, this school was also Rich Kids Central. I think we're gonna need a raise in our allowance. Yeah. Yeah. You know what happens when you follow a bunch of wealthy teenagers through their formative years. You begin to dislike rich teens intensely. To be a bitch or not to be a bitch, that is the question. West Beverly High served as a backdrop to some major teenage drama, with popularity contests and love triangles taking center stage. You know, all school year, I listened to you rattling on and on about your feelings for my brother. This has nothing to do with Brandon. You're right. It has to do with you and me. And between all that, we're wondering how any of these kids got any learning done at all. I cannot believe we did it. I mean, we got away from them all. <laughs> Number four, Sunnydale High School, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Welcome to Sunnydale. A clean slate, Buffy. That's what you get here. What's past is past. No one could ever accuse the teens of Sunnydale High of being lazy. At least, not the ones fighting to keep the entire town from being overrun by the forces of evil. You're not going to kill me with that thing. Tobika, sure. And while most high schools are renowned for their academics or athletic records, this quaint California educational facility happens to be situated on a portal to another dimension. An evil dimension. A hellmouth, if you will. Found right under the school's library. Top that rival high school. Look at them. Throwing themselves about, completely unaware of the danger that surrounds them. Back to Japan. Number three, Greendale Community College, Community. The most important tool is respect. Ha! <laughs> Gay! Community colleges don't get enough shine. And this community college in particular seems pretty awesome. Totally! If nothing else, it hosts some interesting students and faculty. And faculty turn students. You're not even a student! Wrong! Critical media literacy and politics of gender, biatch! With fields of study and student activities ranging from the normal to the wacky, this Colorado school sees endless adventures and rivalries, contests, and reconciliations on its campus. Shouldn't we be barricading the room? I don't know. These guys don't seem so <laughs> I will help you. Plus, it seems like a place where some amazing friendships are forged. Needless to say, we'd like to enroll. I guess as we were driving away, I finally started living in the moment. And I realized that in the moment, Greendale is where I belong. Number two, Bayside High School, Saved by the Bell. Chad, <laughs> this may come as a shock to you, but education is more than just french fries and tuna melts. That's right, Jesse. You forgot cheeseburgers. You know a high school is really awesome when the students have most of their life experiences within its halls. I care about the student body. I care about a student body too. Hers. Bayside apparently had a bunch of students, but we were clearly only supposed to care about six of them all of whom fit into some sort of stereotype. Whether it was the jock, the brain, the cheerleader, the nerd, the shopaholic, or the cool guy. I'm Kelly, who are you? <laughs> Whoever you want me to be. <laughs> and don't forget their principal. Mr. Belding always seemed to care just a little too much about what Zach, Kelly, Slater, Jesse, Lisa, and Screech were up to. Mirror, mirror on the wall. <laughs> Who's the buffest principal of all? <laughs> You are, you stud muffin, you. Before we enroll at our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I knew it was you all along. What's the big lesson? What were you trying to teach us? Oh my gosh, they killed Feeny! 
Look, I mean, you know they're gonna play disco, right? Disco sucks. I hate disco. Ooh, ooh. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> These guys, they tried to pick them up. It was totally wicked, am I right? And the cops came. I'm telling you, we had a time, didn't we? Didn't we have a time? You know, know what you've been missing, baby, get wise. He's pulling your chain, man. Don't you get it? They don't go to dances because they're nerds. That's all. This is a room full of freaks. And I speak for, for each and every coach, player, and uh, trainer up here. We all feel honored. And we feel fully prepared to represent this beloved community this Friday night and every Friday night. Number one, Springfield Elementary School, The Simpsons. Walking on a turn, uh, to paddling. Looking out the window, uh, to paddling. Staring at my sandals. That's a paddling. Paddling the school canoe. Oh, you better believe that's a paddling. <sighs> While the school does seem to have a few bad apples in its midst, we can't say the teachers, bus drivers, groundskeeper, cafeteria lady, or even the principal are much better. Lunch, Lady Doris. Have you got any grease? Yes. Yes, we do. Then grease me up, woman! Okie dokie. It's a lot of fun to watch the antics of the students, particularly Bart Simpson, as he pushes the limits of adult patience at Springfield Elementary. Ah! Seems to be caught ah! between these two flowers. Ah! Ah! But it's even more fun to witness the teachers struggle to retain their sense of sanity while working in a grossly underfunded school. Why is a cafeteria worker posing as a nurse? I get two paychecks this way. And facing kids who are either too smart, too dumb, or just too bad to the bone. Fools. <laughs> Oops, still on. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite TV school? For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You guys are all dead, man, really dead. Thank <laughs> you.